Guys, welcome to the J. Scott Outdoors podcast. This is actually an, uh, the audio from uh, the Kuyu Live event today, uh, June the 8th, with uh, founder of Kuyu, Jason Harrison. And in this episode, he is going to talk specifically about the Super Down Ultra, uh, which is super lightweight. They've reduced uh, the weight by 40% and kept all the warmth to, w- uh, to weight ratio characteristics. Uh, the the Kuyu Rangefinder Holder, the Scarpa R Evolution Boots, and Rebel K. He's going to go through both of those boots and the new backpack modifications. And I encourage you guys to go to Kuyu.com to get more information uh, on these products. Also, if you're going to be in Seattle, Washington, uh, the Kuyu Mobile Showroom is in Seattle the 8th, 9th, and 10th. Then Spokane, Washington, the 15th, 16th, and 17th. Missoula, Montana, the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. Boise, Idaho, Idaho Falls, Bozeman, Montana. Denver, Colorado, July 20th through the 22nd. Uh, You can go on Kuyu.com and get the full schedule of the Kuyu, uh, the mobile showroom, and uh, the Kuyu World Tour. And I just want to thank uh, Jason and the guys at Kuyu uh, Ultralight Hunting for sponsoring this podcast. Let's get right to the episode. Hey everybody, welcome to Kuyu Live. Really appreciate everybody tuning in. We have had another massive response. A lot of great questions have come in. I know there's a lot of questions regarding a lot of the new products that we've released and are releasing, and we've got a lot to cover today. We're going to go through the new Super Down Ultra jacket. We're going to go through the new rangefinder holder, the Scarpa boot program, and our new packs that are coming out and started shipping this week. So let's get into the range of products. We're going to start with the Super Down Ultra. We, it's going to come out in a hooded version, and as you see here, in a non-hooded version. And this involves a new fabric technology we developed with Torre and a new down treatment process to the fabrics that involves heat that slightly uh, melts the fabric, keeps it uh, downproof, but doesn't require the typical coating. So you're going to get a little softer hand feel to the fabric, even in cold temperatures. And this new fabric is a 12 denier fabric, so it's lighter than the Super Down. We have this exact same amount of fill that we have in the Super Down jacket. We trimmed up the designs to continue to, to work on reducing weight on this product. We're able to take 40% out of the Super Down product and not give up any of the heat, um, uh, heat performance, the amount of fill, and still able to take out that amount of weight just through fabric technology and some di- design improvements. And as you'll see here, it comes with a pocket with double zipper heads, so you can fold this thing in. It's a product that I always have in my pack, the jacket and, and the pant. Just in case you get stuck out overnight, you're sitting on the ridge glassing, never, ever go into the mountains without my Super Down, now my Super Down Ultra products. And you'll see in this non hooded version of this jacket, it's incredibly light, weighs in at 5.9 ounces. So there's no excuse not to have this jacket, and this new fabric technology innovation is absolutely amazing. Another... Another amazing innovation from Torre. So we move on to the new rangefinder holder. A lot of guys have been asked for this. I've needed it. Um, this is a product we've developed and tested over the last 12 months, and it's simple to use. It's a pouch system that has a bungee cord, allows your easy access of your rangefinder. It has it comes with two different choices of lanyard: a short lanyard if you're going to run it off of your bino harness, which is designed to attach right to securely. Or if you want to run it off your hip belt pouch, you can order the longer, um, the longer bungee system so you can have uh, enough length to use it right off your hip belt pouch. So it gives you the versatility to put it in your pack, your waist belt, um, or, your hip, or a belt off your pants, or right here on the bino harness. And like I said, it's simple and easy to use and is a must-have for everybody. So something we're always working on is development of our packs to continue to increase the performance, ease of use, and we always listen to customer feedback. And something we've, we've been working on to put together and we have out this year is a new frame size. So we have the regular, we have the tall that we've had in the past, and now we've come out with an extra tall. So something I just want to note is looking at customers get into the packs and looking at frame size and fitting. Because a lot of our customers are choosing the wrong size frame. They're thinking because they're not tall, being you know above 5'10", 5'11", that they need the regular size frame. Something you need to note is your torso length and your height. We put some more information up on the website to make sure you get the right size frame. If you're in question, we always recommend a size up on the height of the frame. You want to make sure that geometry is um, intact when you have a heavy load and the pack doesn't 
uh, with a heavy weight slide down. You don't get the geometry to get those load lifters up off your back and engage at the frame. It'll help carry much more secure under heavy weight. So we made some great changes to the 2017 packs. A lot of it's just making this system even easier to use. So we've made some, some changes to the hydration ports. We went to zippered hydration ports, the ones you used in the past. Kind of hard to get that big nozzle through. It's one of the changes I requested. Uh, we've gone, per customer request, to four zipper heads. So we have the two locations at the bottom you can zip up. Now you have the ability, when you pop the lid, to have access to two more zipper heads at the top, making it easier to access through the top. Or with the lid down, you can have side access zipping down. We made some changes to the hip belt pouches. The customers ask for easier access with one hand and a larger hip belt pouch. We made those changes this year to the, to the side pouches in the hip belt. You notice it's a larger size, so you have more room and more volume. And then the zipper location went to larger zipper and moved it closer to the hip belt so you can have one-handed operation. As most of you know, or if you're new to the pack system, one of the great things about, about the Kuyu packs, whether it's Icon Pro or the Ultras, is the interchangeability of the bags. You can run any of our bags on our frame suspension. Icon Pro or the Ultras will switch between the two, two different suspension systems. And we want to make the modularity even quicker and faster. We did that through some, the development of a few parts through Duraflex that are custom for Kuyu. So to make this, this process simpler and easier, and I'll show you how quick and it is easy it is now to interchange the bags. So literally within seconds, you can have a bag off and put the new bag right on. And two other uh, attachment points and webbing we put on is bottom cinch points that we hadn't had in the past that allow you to cinch the bottom of the bag down so when it's not full or you have a load that you want to compress down, you'll now have that ability or to, to put gear on the bottom of your packs. You see how quick and easy it is to pull the frame off, which will then allow you to switch out the bags. So that's another nice improvement. For me, when I'm backpacking in, I'm staying at a base camp, I'm going to bring either the Icon Pro 1850 or the Ultra or the 3200 and just switch it out, and then it becomes my day pack. So th those are some nice changes, and just ease of use with the new pack systems. So with the Ultra, you have the same quick detach like you do with the Icon Pro I just showed you, same hip belt pouch change and updates that we made, but we also changed to a little bit larger hip belt buckle and then we put a power pull system in with the Ultras this year. So you're gonna be able to pull forward versus side, which I know is a feature that I like and most of our customers like, and it was requested for the, for the Ultras. So it's nice improvements on the Ultra this year as well. Um, new development on, on the Scarpa boots I'm really excited about. It's a project that I've been talking to Scarpa for for the past two years. And that was to develop boots specifically for hunting. So I sat down with their team. We discussed the challenges and problems that we face in the mountains and really what was the perfect boot for the different types of hunting we do and the different type of conditions we face. And as I sat down and went through the issues that we face, we put together really a combination of technologies from multiple boot programs they have into three different boots that I think cover our customers in a wide range of conditions, just about everything you're going to need out of a boot program for any conditions you're going to face, whether you're hunting in the lower 48, uh, mule deer, pronghorn hunts, more rolling type of country, all the way through to the most technical, um, challenging conditions we face, like in a northern doll sheep hunt or a stone sheep hunt. And the first boot that we released this year was the R Revolution really for this for a more flexible boot that would be most you know suited for really all types of hunting in the lower 48 that maybe doesn't involve backpack hunting or really steep arduous conditions and, and we had a lot of customers that tried the Shermaz and felt like that boot was a little bit stiff for stocking or for really what they were used to and they introduced me to the R Revolution which is an inline boot for them and as I tested it wore it 
felt like it was a perfect match for that type of customer and that type of use. And we put it into a custom color range that is only available at Kuyu, which matches the rest of the boot line. And it's a boot that I think every one of our customers should have. It's got a great price. Um, it's, it's all synthetic. It has Scarpa's sock, new sock thick design, which is the latest advancement in, in how you're building, how they're building boot, technical boots in the mountaineering industry. Um, the synthetic materials allow it for quick drying times, high breathability, high abrasion resistance. It's got a nice full round, and it's incredibly light. And this is a boot that basically you can wear right out of the box into the mountains. It requires very little break in time and is an incredibly, incredibly comfortable boot. I recommend it for, for everybody. Something that we needed in the industry, um, needed for boots and mountain hunting, was a technical boot. And I wanted one that had structure and support that you'd find in a typical mountaineering boot, but with all synthetic materials and a little bit more flex than what you typically find with this advanced style of boot in mountaineering. Um, usually they're a crampon compatible boot. It's got a full shank through. And, and I wanted something that had a little bit more flex because the type of conditions we face in the mountains where we're going really steep, Really technical to train down in the mountain valleys where you're walking, carrying a pack, and you don't need as much stiffness, you need more comfort. And so we took the um, midsole and outsole of the Charmos, which is reasonably stiff boot, but not, not so stiff that, it's, that you, you get with like a full crampon compatible boot. And it's the newest, latest version of that midsole and outsole that just came out this year. It's got a full rand, and then we took the Rebel, uh, what they call the Rebel um, Carbon, upper and we put that on top of the Charmeau's midsole and outsole. Changed out the synthetic material um, that's located in this position and put it into super fabric which is a ceramic coated fabric that you know is really abrasion resistant. You can't put crampons through it so it's going to give us more durability than the standard boot. And this boot's got a lot of really good technical features. It's sock fit, it's got um, it's a glued in plastic strip that's going to protect the top of your foot against lacing. It's all synthetic, dries incredibly fast, is incredibly light for this type of style of boot, much lighter than anything else that's out there on the market. And you know, with the synthetic materials, and because it doesn't hold moisture, it doesn't stretch, um, it keeps your foot drier and more comfortable, and has significant weight savings over any other boot in this category. And then we have a third boot that we'll release next month called the uh, Rebel Ultra, which has the taller gator and a more robust mid and outsole, and really designed those for the guides. They're spending uh, 200 days a year in the field. They need a robust, really durable, uh, technical mountain hunting boot. And really excited about these uh, introducing these boots. I think it's going to make a big shift in uh, in hunting boots, getting away from leather and traditional materials and moving into the advanced materials you'll find in the mountaineering world, but des boots designed specifically around what we need for hunting. So check these out. Uh, they're on the mobile showroom truck. They're here at the at the at Kuyu. Order a pair, try them on. I guarantee you're going to absolutely love them. So I think that covers the range of products today. I think it's time for us to get into some questions. Pat, do we have some people right in? All right. Let's see here. What do we have? Eric Wiedemeyer from Maryland, looking for the perfect boot for early October Southern New Mexico elk hunt. Your thoughts? Scarpa R Revolution or the Rebel K? It's going to depend, for my recommendation, on the type of hunt you're doing. If you're base camp hunting and you're not hunting really steep technical ter terrain, which you can get in New Mexico, sometimes you get you know more open desert type country, it's really going to be dependent on backpack hunt, non-backpack hunt. If you're carrying loads and it's steeper terrain, I'd re recommend the Rebel K. If it's more rolling terrain, I'd definitely recommend the um, R, Scarpa R Revolution. It's, it's going to be up to you whether you like a stiffer boot or a more flexible boot. It's a great question, though. Is there replacement shoulder straps and hip straps for my backpack? Uh, this is from Justin Geeky. Yes, they are going to be available on the site, um, or they are available on the site. You can order replacement uh, shoulder straps, waist belt, bags. It's all interchangeable. And it's also something to think about too is in pack maintenance you know it all disassembles you can wash your packs you can wash the hip belts uh shoulder straps if you need a replacement you can do that as well and it makes it uh makes it great part of our system is that you don't have to replace the entire pack because you have a, a worn out shoulder strap or hip belt Let's see here thomas chris thomas from red bluff california is a new material for the ultra down 
more breathable than super down or should I stick with my Kenai jacket? And then what you, what did you give up to reduce the weight of the super down ultra by 40%? So it's still a downproof fabric, which means it doesn't breathe. And we have to do that to keep the down feathers from coming through. So if you're looking for insulation that's breathable, definitely recommend the Kenai. That's what it's designed for. Um, down, as you know, if you've spent any time in it and you're hiking in it, you can get sweaty underneath because of the lack of breathability. It's just the nature of the beast with the down product. You do have to coat the fabrics to keep air permeability from coming through. It also keeps the feathers from coming through that fabric. So it's a great question. So this is John Bryan from Ireland. Nice. Thanks, John, for tuning in. How do the new Scarpas hold up in very wet conditions? It's a good question coming from Ireland, I'd imagine. So these boots are really the, te- the synthetic materials and how these boots are designed. They, they will work the best in wet conditions over what's out there in the hunting market. A full leather boot's going to get wet. It's going to stay wet the entire time. You'll see leather, that, you'll see boot stretch, as we call it, or the leather stretching from being wet over time. Also, a leather boot, when it's wet and dries over a period of time, will crack and also wear out and also cause issues with the waterproof breathable membrane underneath. So these are great choices in wet conditions. I want to purchase suspension and frame only for my Icon Pro Series bags. Is there going to be any available to buy? And this is by Tyler Shoup. There is. And you go on the site, you can order the frame and suspension, you can order the bags, you have a choice. So check it out on the website. They are available. Carl Schwendler from Arizona. Waste padding, question mark. Liner bags of some sort that could be washed after carrying out game. Or is the pack capable of pulling it inside out to wash or rinse away blood? So it's a good question. We have meat bags and game bags uh, available on our site. We also have roll top dry bags if you want to keep the blood out of your pack. And you certainly can detach our bags. You can detach our suspension, like I mentioned earlier, and put them in the washing machine. Um, and then reassemble on your pack. It's certainly one of the benefits to our system. And something I, we always recommend is pack maintenance. And that's cleaning your packs. It'll help eliminate any squeak you may have. Check that uh, uh, where the frame goes into the hip belt. Make sure that's cleaned out and wash out on a regular basis. It'll, it'll help maintain your pack and, and keep it quiet. So I think that covers it. Any more questions from Set. yours, Pat? Set. On to the winners. On the winners. Anyone want some free gear today? Everyone loves free gear. Oh, all right. So we are giving away a Super Down Ultra hooded jacket and rangefinder holder. We're giving away both those things at once? The one version. Wow. All right. Henry Wallace, Fort Collins, Colorado. You're the winner. Congratulations. You're going to love that Ultra hooded jacket. It's my favorite. It's so light. Icon Pro 3200 full kit. And that is going to Brandon Crawford. Congratulations, Brandon. Brandon lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And the Scarpa R Evolution Boot, that's going to Bill Mesh in Bloomington, Illinois. Congratulations, you guys. Customer service will be contacting you. And they'll follow up with you to get your information and get these products shipped out to you right away. You'll absolutely love them. And just want to say thanks to everybody. We're having another amazing year. The support for Kuyu continues to grow, not just here in the United States, but globally. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And I really appreciate everybody tuning in today and taking the time to learn about our amazing new products.